Um, I'm going to start this with a supposition, okay. uh, from, biblically. Uh, Israel's enemies did live by enough of a code to at mm -hmm. least build a community. So there yep. was some, some moral uh, uh, compass that yes. they lived by, uh, but probably not the moral code we live by today. Um, therefore, we mm -hmm. could suppose that they weren't necessarily evil unless there was evidence that they were evil, and inferring evil to something that we don't understand would have the danger of being ignorant. So therefore, the fact that we live by Judeo-Christian values today, isn't that just more relativism? I'm not quite sure I understand your question. So if you're saying that, that, that this is, there's only a couple of options for moral codes. One, they are the product of subjects, either individuals or groups, right? That's one possible source of moral truth. The other, that it's just the evolutionary result these are the principles that beings, I didn't talk about this in the talk, but this is another possibility, right? That these are just the evolutionary result. If we learn to live this way, mm -hmm. we are the ones that survived with this particular code. But to be honest, we aren't the ones that, we share the world with lots of other uh, codes. Right. Even now, we share the world with lots of other codes. So if we're suggesting that, if, if we believe that this is just the code that happened to emerge, and so therefore we embrace this code, but do we think then we have no right then to speak against any other code that we see in the, in the world? Because if that's the case, we'd have no right then, right? We would say, hey, we just happen to be, the, uh, we happen to be supporting the, the moral code of the victor group, who happens to now live in America, <laughs> Well, there's other groups in UK and in Pakistan right. and in Africa and in different places that have different moral codes mm -hmm. in China. So the question is then, okay, so we're comfortable saying then that we cannot speak to the appropriate behavior of any other group, right? Because all we're saying, I think that, that, that we, we might have it wrong, mm -hmm. but it seems to me that there is an objective transcendent code that sits above all of these things. Except that that's so a the question that becomes well. No, what I mean is, do you, okay? Let's ask the question then. Or are you willing then to say that all we happen to be in possession of is the code that won? So therefore, it's not necessarily true or, or good or bad. Mm -hmm. It's just the code that won. But we're not. We're actually probably in the minority of people of the planet who holds this code the way we hold it. Sure. So are we unwilling then to say that? So we would say, hey, whatever you're doing over there, whatever you're doing to, to Americans in your custody, whatever you're doing to Christians in your custody, whatever you're doing to Muslims in your population, we, we're not going to say anything about it because we don't think it's good or bad. There is no good or bad. There's just whatever's working for you as the victor group. I don't think you're willing to do that. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, and I'm not either. <laughs> okay, so then the question becomes, okay, so, so whether or not the code we might have happens to be the victor group has nothing to say about whether or not it's true or not or it's the code. It may very well be that the victor group happens to have the code. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't know that, right? God but, said he was good. Right, and but and therefore forget. He's good. But, right, I agree with you, but but I mean, I'm with you on that issue. But but just for so the sake of argument, mm -hmm. but it is, just because your group happens to have survived with this code does not mean it's only true because your group has it. Well, that's actually my question. Right. So it may very well be that your group has the true code. The code that it has an objective transcendent foundation because your group has decided to bend its knee to the objective transcendent source. Now, your, your group might win in the end, but we haven't really. But let's just say we did, and now the whole population of the entire planet is, is Christians. Well, it doesn't mean that that's just a relativistic answer to morals. It may just be that the group that happened to win happened to also embrace the code that came from the objective moral source of, moral, of truth. Does that make sense? It does. So, so I, you know, but if someone said to you, well, how do you know that you're just, I don't think that that's the case. If that was the case, then we would never be able to complain about any other culture <laughs> and the behavior of any other culture. And we do that all the time. Even someone like Sam Harris who argues that really what you're seeing here is there, he believes in objective, transcendent, moral truths, but he grounds them in the transcendent, objective nature of human beings. That is the group that's common to all of us. Right. That transcends any small people group. The species transcends that. And he says, we do those things that aid in human flourishing. But of course, the problem is the loaded word flourishing. What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. People will disagree 
about what they mean by what causes a group to flourish, a species sure. to flourish. Some might say, no, that's a bad definition of flourishing. This is a good definition of flourishing. That means there has to be a standard above those two definitions that you're judging good from bad. Now you're stuck with me again. See the problem? I don't think you can ever avoid the problem that we have to have an objective standard by which we even judge those kinds of proclamations. And I don't think that Harris thinks flourishing means survival. Because people do all kinds of bad things and aid in their own survival. We have, we're here right now because our people groups at some point in the past killed everybody who was in competition with them. So we are here as a result of some pretty bad behavior that's somewhere in our own uh, historical past. So survival can be aided by bad behavior. But that's not what he means, of course. But then he has to steal a concept of righteous living, flourishing, that he doesn't have yet because that's the code that we're talking about. Anyway. Hope that helps a little bit. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching our video. If it was helpful and useful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you would follow us, subscribe to our channel at the bottom link here in the video, and tell your friends. And please follow us on social media.